Meanwhile, Lebanese militant group Hasbollah says it launched rockets at northern Israel in response to a deadly Israeli strike in southern Lebanon. The Thursday's attack was Hasbollah's first since an Israeli airstrike killed its top commander, Fort Shuk, on Tuesday night. Hasbollah's leader, Nassan Nasrallah, spoke at a funeral at the slain commander, saying the conflict with, with Israel has entered a new phase. Zaha El Jersey reports. Hezbollah Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah delivered a televised speech streamed via video link to mourners honoring the life of the top commander Fuad Shukr killed in an Israeli airstrike on a southern suburb of Beirut on Tuesday. Six others were also killed in the attack. Nasrallah said the regional conflict with Israel has entered a new and different phase with multiple fronts and he vowed a response to the Israeli attack is certain, with backing by all parties to Iran's so-called axis of resistance. Only the timing is still in question. The enemy and those behind the enemy must wait for a response that will inevitably come. God willing, there is no discussion or debate about this. And between me and you, this includes the days, nights and the battlefield. The axis of resistance today has existed for many years, and we should all memorize it. It fights with anger and reason, with anger and wisdom, with courage and boldness, and it has the ability. The only way to calm the region, said Nasrallah, is by ending war in Gaza. All these pressures will not work if anyone is interested in preventing the region from increasing to worse and bigger things. They should pressure and oblige Israel to stop his aggression against Gaza. There are no other words. Mourners from Lebanon and beyond attended Shukr's funeral, including representatives of Palestinian factions, Islamic Jihad and Hamas. We are not the ones who rise up if there is a war. It's normal. We are tolerant. I'm a son of the South, and we have been hit by Israel since 1948. I came to Lebanon two weeks ago, and these events happened. But it doesn't really matter to me, because I was born and lived in wars. We're all in the same situation in Iraq, Lebanon, and Palestine. Fuad Shukr, the right-hand man to Hezbollah Secretary General, is the highest-ranking Hezbollah official killed by Israel since its assassination of Ahmad Mughni, the group's military mastermind, in Damascus in 2008. Hezbollah Secretary General's announcement that the support of France have been assigned to a new phase that reflects the coordination between the parties of the so-called the axis of resistance and the response for the assassination of leaders will be in the context of the field and it is inevitable and effective. Zahra Derzi, CGTN, the southern suburb of Beirut.